morning everyone so it is now actually the next day but if you cannot tell by this current situation on my face I have this pimple going on I still have this stupid rash going on my skin is kind of freaking out at the moment and I don't know why but I thought in this video maybe I'd do a little bit of a skincare routine and take you along and show you what products I'm using at the moment because I'm not wearing makeup during the day today I just want to let my skin breathe I will do a little bit of a cleanse maybe a mask or something I just feel like giving my skin some love today would be so good we are very close and personal here but like I've never had like a cold sore before so I don't know if that's a pimple or a cold sore I have no idea but this rash I have no idea what it is so I definitely think giving my skin some love today would be really really good I also wanted to have a massive wardrobe clean out and I'm going to pop a bunch of my clothes on Depop today so I thought it's just gonna be like a little follow around sort of vlog for this one I'll give you a little tour of my cupboard down here I've got like cotton buds and this is like my perfume sort of section then up here I've got hair care I've got tanning and some skin products then up here is mainly like oils serums we've got my retainers but um yeah I definitely reckon we'll be using a lot of these today up here I've got some more moisturizer sunscreen Bang & Body and Bondi Boost so because it is like a daytime skincare routine it is gonna be kind of different to what I do at night so maybe I can do another video of like a nighttime routine with my skincare because it is a little different especially on days where I'm not wearing any makeup this is like a daily makeup free skincare routine first things first I'm going to cleanse the base now I did want to say a massive massive thank you to edible skin for sponsoring this part of the video I use quite a few of their products in my skincare routine so it just fits in really perfectly edible skin is kind of like how it sounds the ingredients are so pure organic natural everything to the point where you could probably eat them yeah the products are just extremely natural all vegan cruelty free you name it they're so good and they literally have everything so they've got serums oils cleansers masks anything you want with skincare oh, so good even a little drink that you can make every morning i think i might actually have one after because i haven't tried it yet but it is in my fridge ready to go anyway so i'm just going to start by doing some cleansing system so the first product that i'm using is the cleansing milk i'm just going to get some water on my face washer and just put a few pumps of product on here so this actually like dissolves any sort of makeup that may be left on your skin i run out of makeup wipes so this has been really good for makeup removal you can use your fingers just to do it but i just like doing it on a cloth because i feel like it really can get into those pores a little bit more so just want to make sure there's no like dirt left on our skin you know i don't know about you guys but i always get so much like under here and in like my nose isn't doing skincare just like the best thing ever i love it it's so relaxing i think i'll show this more in my nighttime skincare routine but i use this firming lotion from bang and body literally every day at night before I go to bed because I feel like it's the best like firming lotion I've ever owned um, so I think in another video maybe I'll do like more of a review on that but look how much I have used this is my third tube of it but I love this it like rolls up and you can get more product out anyway now I'm going to do the illuminating face oil and I find that this one is so so good because it just makes you look like has that really youthful like radiant sort of look I'm just gonna kind of rub that all over it smells like roses which makes me so happy because it smells like my nan's house I want to miss her so much but she's got like all the rose bushes going and this is exactly what it smells like so it's just bringing back so many mems next what I'm going to do is take the citrus toner mist it literally smells so fruity and delicious but what you want to do is just spray it all over I go to town on this stuff so you don't have to do as much as me but I just love it you know anyway we're looking super shiny now what I'm going to do I've been using this for literally forever and it is a lash and brow serum from Bondi Boost I love using this if I'm not wearing mascara or if I don't want to put any gel in my brows so today I'm just going to use it as kind of like an eyebrow gel just to make 
everything look like it's uh, intact. <clears throat> this is perfect for a no makeup glowy sort of look. And then this mask is the Sleeping Beauty Mask. It is a purifying mousse and you're supposed to wear it to bed, but I like wearing it on days where I have like a full day of not wearing makeup and then in a few hours I wash it off, but you totally can use it overnight. I would highly recommend doing that because you wake up with like this beautiful radiant skin. Pop it all over my face. Just rub that everywhere. I'll also leave all of the links where you can find all of these products below if you wanted to check out a new skincare range. So you guys know I have a podcast and I do know of the owner of this brand and she honestly seems like the most amazing person ever. I'm so blown away by like the things that she knows. So I really want to do an interview with her and just pick her brains about like skincare and how it connects to every part of the body. Because she is a naturopath, I feel like you guys would really like to hear what she has to say anyway. I'm gonna see if I can get her on an episode of Find Your Fire, so definitely stay tuned for that because I would love to pick her brains about everything to do with like how she creates this because it is so cool. As I said, they had the beauty drink that I can do, but I, yeah, I honestly just haven't gotten around to trying it because I've been so busy and I just forget. But it'd be good to like incorporate into my mornings considering my morning drink is usually like Naked Harvest supplements. I'll have a pre-workout, but I keep it in the fridge. This is what it looks like. Brand new, I think it was launching on the 26th. It's called the Beauty Dew. It's for hair, skin, and nails. All you need is two teaspoons in some water. I'm crossing my fingers that I love it because I'm looking for something to take every single morning. I do like that it's a liquid and not a powder because I find that some powders get stuck at the bottom and I really don't like that. Oh yeah, it's just like a cool summer raspberry drink. Definitely gonna start drinking this every morning. I don't know if you guys have been to a place called T2, but they have those like sample cold brew teas. Like when you go into the store, this is like having one of those cold raspberry teas. I'm so here for this, this is amazing. Alrighty, welcome to my bedroom. I am about to Marie Kondo the shit out of my drawers and my wardrobe, especially my activewear drawer. It is absolutely overflowing. I have a bunch of activewear that I maybe got like last year or the year before that I just don't wear anymore. Better off going to a good home <laughs> where someone will actually wear it a bit more than I do. Um, and also my summer dresses in my wardrobe. I just feel like I don't really wear them as much. Want to do a bit of a Mari Kondo method and be like, does this spark joy? And if it doesn't, I could just get rid of it. I'll show you the current state of the wardrobe. These are all like wintery sort of things. So I definitely think I want to keep most of it. There are some dresses in here though that I just like don't wear. These clothes here are all gonna go up on Depop because I already know that I don't really wear them as much. This is the first dress. I think it's really cute, but again, I just can't wear it in this weather. Also had this dress up on Depop for a few months. It's from White Fox. It's this beautiful formal dress. I bought it for like the uni ball and I never wore it. So it's still brand new. It's got the tags on it. So please take it. This jumper, this is from Mink Pink. I would love to pull this color off. Then I've also got this cardigan. I did wear this a fair bit, but I just don't find myself reaching for it anymore. But it was really expensive. So I'm just hoping it goes to someone who will get some good wear out of it. Then these gingham pants, they are from Shopo. Again, I got so much wear out of them, but I just don't reach for them anymore. to go through my activewear drawer. This is just a disaster. <laughs> that is <laughs> shocking. I feel like I don't wear this leopard print set anymore. Oh, I'm so lost. I don't know. Oh, I love this and I would love to pull it off, but I just never reach for it. This honestly feels like a breakup <laughs> because I'm so sad. I don't want to part with, with this. Is that good? That's really bad. I know it's like materialistic and stuff, but do I need this in this weather? Not really. <laughs> Thank you. 
So now this is the hard part. I've got to go and take photos in absolutely every outfit. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. I feel like it might take an hour to just constantly be changing and everything. I'll leave my Depop down below if you do want to check out any of these items. Everything's just going to be super cheap. So essentially I just want it gone. <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys, that took me a whole hour, I reckon even longer, I got through this entire pile. Oh, that was an experience. Literally took so many photos, it's crazy. These will hopefully all be up on Depop by the time this video is live, so if you want to check any of these out. Now, back in my cupboard. I'm sorry if my face looks a little flared up. I've just had like, you know when you have like a sneezing fit from like dust and stuff? I just have one of those, so my face is like freaking out. I'm going to take off the mask now. It is quite thick, but it felt so good on my skin. Just take a bit off. Oh, I can't even tell you how much I needed this today. Firstly, I am popping on the Vanilla Silk Hydrating Lotion. It's just a moisturizer. And then my little secret ingredient. I have had this for so long. It is the Eco Tan Face Tan Water. Honestly, it's lasted me forever. I'm only just over halfway done and I've had it for about 18 months, I wanna say. I actually did a sneaky, so it comes with like a cap sort of thing over it so you can only let out a little bit at a time, but I pulled that out because I wanted to use like more. So what I do is I just like get a little bit, looks like that. It's a monica meter and some like a streamer. I really wanna get one of those, um, like jade roller things that people use to like get rid of the lymphatic drainage. I think that's what it's called. Sometimes I wake up with a puffy face and I feel like that would really help me. I'll wrap up this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me declutter my entire wardrobe. I hope you guys also enjoyed the little skincare routine and if you wanted to check out any of the products, I'll have them all linked below and I'll see if I can find a discount code too. Please give me a thumbs up down below, subscribe, hit the bell. My name is Jess, I make new videos every three days, so I'll see you in three days.